hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how you can make the dual boot of your windows with the kali linux so it's very easy how to make it let me show you first of all you need to create the separate partition for the kali linux so that you can make it as a secondary boot so in my case i have the space in a drive as well as in the c drive so at least 30 GB you need to require that but more it's up to you so how to give and how to create the partition here let me show you so these are my existing VMs and I'm going to shrink from the C drive now okay so just open the computer management just type there computer management run it as admin secondly you can right click here and click on disk management or computer management whatever you prefer now this is the computer management click on disk management now from here we need to create the separate partition so I'm going to shrink the C volume here just we need to right click it click on shrink and I'm going to give it at least 30 GB of C drive Now as you can see here it is automatically taking 32,000 so let me give 30,000 from C drive Now you can see unallocated space just right click new simple volume next 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 select NTFS whatever you prefer just name it Kali so that you can identify while booting it and click on finish so once you finish we have successfully created the Kali drive for the Kali Linux now it's time to download the ISO file of Kali Linux simply open the Google Chrome or whatever you like just click there click on Kali Linux download and we need to go to first link and basically we need to install the ISO file of this click on installer images click on recommended so this is the latest version of Kali Linux as of now 2024.4 click on here download so once you click on download you can see it is around 4 GB so we need to wait here also we need a Rufus type the Rufus just like so go to first link and you need to select here simply download download the latest one standard one simply click on exe and download it so let's wait here until it's completed and this is a refuse we need to run it later also insert the pen drive into your computer or laptop now it's downloaded guys this Rufus and before that you just need to plug in the your USB into the laptop so let me plug in now so I have plugged in my USB here and you need to make sure that there is no data on your pen drive since it will be deleted 
so now let's double click on the rufus now and hit yes option when the prompt opens and let's click on no now this is the prompt which we needed as you can see here it has taken my USB pen drive automatically here with the 64 gigabyte now we need to select here disk or images select here and simply go to the location of your downloaded ISO of Kali and simply open it now you don't need to do anything now just leave everything as default and simply hit the start option and right I also made image of recommended just click on ok and all the data will be deleted so no worry click on ok now this is the process of making ISO file or bootable files you just need to wait here until it's get completed now pen drive is ready you just need to click on close so as you can see this is the ISO file these all files are created by the Rufus and now my pen drive is ready so let's eject this just right click and simply eject this now USB is ejected so we need to go to the BIOS now simply you need to type the setting whether you are using Windows 11 or 10 go to Windows update and security and you should be able to see the recovery option here now just click on restart and once you restart your system will be restarted into the advanced mode now after that I am making the video with my phone so let's start the process guys simply you need to click on restart or even you can hold the shift key and click on restart option and keep holding the shift key until you get the startup screen so I am clicking on here or if you have the knowledge what is the BIOS key you can simply go there here we need to click on troubleshoot advanced options and from where simply click on UEFI firmware setting simply restart now yes I will see F10 key to BIOS setup simply I will press F10 this is my BIOS I simply need to go to the system configuration then we need to use the down arrow key and click on boot options and from here we need to select the boot order as you can see here I have already the USB diskable USB hard disk here so in order to change the boot order you can see here F5 or F6 accordingly you need to check your BIOS so as you can see when I press F5 it is going down but when I press F6 now I have selected the boot order USB into the top so let me press here F10 key in order to save the changes and click on yes so now you can see here the guys Kali Linux is booting up you need to select here the first option which says graphical install just press the enter key now select here English press enter key now this is asking to your location so I'm selecting here India you can select your country and press the continue option here or the enter key so I'm leaving everything as American English click on continue here detect amount installation media just wait here just select your Wi-Fi next now you need to enter your Wi-Fi password or you can connect with the Ethernet 
so let me enter my Wi-Fi password then I will connect on I will click on continue now once I type the password here it is successfully configured now this is a computer host name you want to give just let me give it Kali press enter key or domain name it is pointing out so domain name let me type a test just for testing it is not required but so this is the username this is very important here so I'm selecting here Kali this is this will be your username you can accordingly select that then click on continue username of your account so as you can see it is selecting here Kali so click on continue enter the password you need to enter the password accordingly I'm simply leaving everything as Kali as you can see here and click on continue detect disks now here is the most important part in the selecting disks so once you see this screen we need to select here the manual one this is very important here press enter key and these are all the information of my SSD or the hard disk so we have selected here the 31 GB for the so we have selected here 31 GB for the Kali Linux you can see here with the size this one is my C drive this one this is so I have identified with the space just we need to erase this so make sure you have selected our correct drive and then click on continue now click on delete partition here and click on then continue now you can see it has created free space here now select the free space again and then click on continue make sure you select here the correct disk with the space then click on continue and select here the op automatically partition the free disk then click on continue now select the first option all files in one partition recommended and click on simply continue now it has already selected finish partition and write the changes click on continue here now we need to select here yes write a disk to disk yes we want that now you should able to see the software selection here so I recommend you to leave everything as default and then we need to select here continue so it is showing the errors click on continue select and install softwares okay let's click now so let me select the first option here whether now you can see when I selected the first option it is trying to install no issues is we will update the Kali Linux and we will install the packages after that so let's wait here now you can see guys you will see the option installation is complete and you need to click on continue so I have removed the pen drive so again I have go to the same boot priority and click on Kali and press the enter key or you can up it like so and press F10 to save hit yes login screen let me type in password so 
so i have to enter the password of user just enter this command sudo apt update press enter just password so now you need to enter this command sudo space apt full hyphen upgrade hyphen y press enter key man i have to upgrade this these options since i was getting the error while the default installation that's why i have to run these commands you should not able to get this error if you can also try with the disabling secure boot so once upgrade process is done you need to enter this command guys sudo space apt get sudo space apt hyphen get install and press enter key here now you need to press here y press yes so by these command we should able to install the graphical interface so once the command is completed and you have rebooted the laptop simply you should able to see the login screen here kali linux screen here so this is how guys you can install the kali linux on your system so i hope this guy this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching